Right, so we're doing a, I'll just this video in a minute. This is this pizza. Delicious. And Coke Zero Sugar. Just, you know, balanced diet and all that. Now, I actually don't mind the taste of Zero Sugar anymore. Um, it's not too bad, but similar to Diet Coke. And it's like 1.5 calories in a can versus 500 or whatever you get in like a normal can of Coke. Um, so a lot less calories and I think a pizza with no sugar is better than pizza with lots of sugar, right? So let's dig into this pizza. This is Death by Chicken. It's got rows of Swiss cheese and it's got swirls of... I don't know what the sauce is. We have to find out. Mm. Very good. Do another video. Yeah. Excuse my slipping. Now I'll show you a picture when I do the written review, so you can see it on my Facebook page. Um, I get thin stretch because it's quite a lot bigger than the smaller one, the normal double base. I mean it's thin, so you're not really getting more dough, but it's hand stretched, so you're paying for the extra labour I guess. Even it might not be necessarily more ingredients, but like I thought. Um, but it's a bit bigger, bigger slices and it just... As I'm getting older, I prefer thin bases now. I usually only have the one pepperoni pizza. Mm. There's plenty of chicken. It's got layers of like Swiss cheese going around each slice. You know what the sauce colors might be hollandaise or beanaise or something. I don't know, but one of those sauces are quite nice. A little bit of red onion on it. Not much in the way of topping, but there is plenty of chicken pieces, so it's definitely worth the money. Like, compared to Domino's, like the gourmet range chicken pizzas or Pizza Hut, you pay a few dollars more, maybe, but you're getting so much more for your money, it's definitely better value. I think Coke, the main description goes well with pizza. Yeah, like I said, wines go certain foods. Coke goes with pizza like that. But one of the reasons why they're one of the biggest drinks companies in the world. Mm. It's one size finished. Uh, size finished. It took me a while because it's quite big. Um, yeah, this is the pizza. You can see it's reasonably big. Thin base, but reasonally big. For twenty seven fifty, I think it's a good deal. I mean, yeah, it's expensive, but you get what you pay for, I figure. And this year is my Coke, Coke Zero Sugar. And let's look at the beer glass. This is 10 bucks. Here it is, this is the hell beer glass. It's 
It's got the leaders of hell around the like a crossbones of like a snake skeleton or something. <coughs> Not exactly big, it's about 330 mil, so go good with the beer, I think. Yeah, so question is, so I finished the pizza now, which is very tempting, it's hot and it's fresh and it's amazingly delicious. Or do I save most of it for put it in the fridge, save it mostly for work tomorrow? Save for going out in the rain and the cold and fighting through packing save to get the last of the specialty breads for tomorrow. It tastes a lot nicer than the specialty breads for sure. Or hot cross buns or something. So it saves spending more money after I've already spent a shitload. And I can have something else in the fridge, which could in turn be another review. It won't be much of a review, it won't be popular, but something. You know, sausages or sausage rolls or something like that. Um, anyway, that's all for now. I'll give that, say, 9.5 out of 10. I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10. I think the, the morning art pizza they do with the hash bites is absolutely perfect. I'd rate that higher than this one. So for that reason, I couldn't give it a 10 out of 10, although it is damn delicious. It's hell probably tell you themselves. Hope zero, it's really grown on me. I used to think it was disgusting, but it's just... Now that when I, I want to buy a case at the supermarket and I want sugar free, there's only Coke Zero sugar, there's no... If you want Diet Coke, you've got to buy sugar... Um, got to buy it individually at the dairy and pay a lot more money, so... Um, yeah, now I'm forced to drink zero sugar to... to diabetic reason that's just um yeah I've gotten used to it so it's not like it doesn't taste like real coke with sugar but it's as good as it's gonna get really without it I think um until they decide one day to bring back coke zero or coke no sugar if they do but you yeah, know I won't ramble on anymore um if I don't have the review I'll post that a little bit later um for now yeah ciao for now as I always say and we'll catch you tomorrow, probably. I've got uh, salted uh, sweet chilli peanuts tomorrow, so that'll be a good review. Anyway, yeah, chuffing out.